Well, hello and welcome to my channel. If you have been following this series, you'll know I've been getting ready for an upcoming Secret Garden theme, English tea party, and crafting session. The party is now right around the corner, but I still have a few last minute finishing touches and things I need to set up. In this video, I will share with you how I'm decorating my kitchen table to host first a tea for two, just for me and my hubby, and then a crafting table to accommodate all my guests and all the crafting supplies. If you're curious about what I'm cooking up here, come on in. Well, hello everyone. Today we are doing um, yet another little prep for our uh, spring tea party coming up, a secret garden English tea party. One of the things I want to do when the ladies get here is also do a little crafting session. So we're going to have the tea in the dining room, which hopefully you'll be following along and you've seen all the preparation that's going on over there. But uh, the crafting session is going to happen here in my kitchen. So one of the things I want to do today is kind of set up this room for our little spring tea uh, crafting session. And we're going to do two crafts. I think I mentioned them in my planning video, but we're going to be making candles out of teacups. And we're also going to be making little fascinator hats. You know, so make, make sure we're ready for a little tea party and get all pretty and posh. So for starters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing this chandelier. Let me show you what we're working with here. Okay, this is sort of a DIY really because uh, the light, uh, the pendant that you see in the center, that's really the only thing that we kind of hooked up to the, basically to the electrical in the ceiling. But this orb that you see here, I really literally saw that at a, at a hardware store. It was actually Osh, which is actually more of like a hardware, a lot of garden supplies. I think it's meant to be a garden orb. So as you can see up there, all I, I did is I attached it with zip ties. So that's my little kind of DIY kind of chandelier. And these things easily move around. You know, if you have to access the light bulb or, you know, or cleaning like I need to do soon. <laughs> anyway, so what I thought it'd be fun to do is to kind of uh, make that a little bit prettier, kind of uh, dress it up a little bit. So let me show you what I have. Okay. So these are some of the things I've been kind of collecting that I think would be helpful for doing this table. I had bought this little set. This is coffee. I guess it's probably Demitas. I bought a, I think it was a flea market years and years ago. And it's been sitting there in the little box doing nothing. So I thought it'd be fun to actually have it hanging kind of from the chandelier. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna hot glue the, the saucer because I think it looks cuter with the saucer. And then I'm gonna have them hanging down kind of uh, to kind of add on to the centerpiece. So that's one thought. So I also want to do a centerpiece. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll do one of my usual kind of uh, three tier tray situations. And again, um, I, I think in the bottom, I would probably use something like this. So I found this plate at the thrift store for like $2.49 or less because I think it was orange there or something. So I could do that in the bottom. And then, um, and I'll, I'll show you kind of, I saw a picture online that also kind of inspired this to use more than just plates. Uh, what I want to put on top is actually this cute teapot that I found. Uh, so I thought that would be really a, a cute thing. Now, in addition to the hanging teapots, part of my plan is also maybe to hang some florals. I haven't quite figured out exactly how. I'm probably going to start playing with it and it'll come to me. But I'll probably put some florals inside the chandelier, maybe maybe in some of the, the tea trays and things like that. Now, the other thing that I have made in the past is this other tea tray. These are actually uh, pieces, uh, rounds that, this one I bought. And, um, and I believe I bought the middle one too. But the big one is from an old project that I took apart and had all this wood disc and I've been using them for all kinds of stuff. That's why it's so, so well loved and full of holes. Anyway, so um, I guess you can see, I just put some, some dots, some kind of round feet on it for support. And then I found this, they call it lace, um, you know, uh, metal lace they call it. I think it's a Victorian thing. This is really how it looked like initially. And I did this fun technique of burning the wood. It's a Japanese technique. And that's how initially this whole th three tier tray was all like that. I thought for this purposes, I might just do a two, a two tier 
And actually what I used to use in between was that kind of black candle holder from Dollar Tree. So I do have one around, I think I have a white one as well. But then uh, I also have this candle holder, which I thought would be really kind of apropos with the silver and all that. So what I'm thinking is I might do a two tier tray with this one. And then maybe I'll put here some of the supplies for the crafting, maybe some of the little embellishments and things like that. It'll be just kind of a fun way to display them. And I don't think I'm go gonna go for the third, you know, I don't know, I'll think about it, but I don't think so. And I have a, another candle holder that's even taller than this one, but I, I tried it out and it felt too tall. It felt not right, the proportion wasn't right. So that's what's happening there. For the crafting party now i also got this really cute uh, tea set with the butterflies and the flowers and in the meantime before actually doing the full setup for my crafting party i'm gonna set the kind of the table just kind of for me and my husband for tea he kind of uh <laughs> indicated he kind of wanted to practice the tea even though he's not going to be part of it i think he was feeling left out so <laughs> i'm gonna do a little mini tea party just for the two of us so i thought this was so pretty um i think i got this at um uh, Marshalls or Ross, I can't remember right now. But anyway, so I'll be setting the table with those and then I'll be using this tablecloth, which is similar to the one I have outside, but it's a little different. And for for placemats, I thought it might be fun to use some doilies. I bought these doilies and I have done nothing with them yet, so it might be fun to try that. So, Okay, well, um, as you know, I don't want to make anything really permanent because I like to be able to change my mind later or do something else repurpose something but you know in this case i think i better hot glue these two together hopefully i'll be able to take them apart later but i think the first step is going to be to hot glue my little uh, coffee cups to the saucer okay well i think the first thing is going to be to um put some string on this on these things and then i'm going to try hanging them um as you know i mentioned in a previous video that white thread works better than um, fishing wire because of, or fishing line because fishing line uh, tends to be thicker for one so this is also a little harder to tie and um, it actually has a shine so when the light hits it it's very noticeable while this thing because it does not have a shine and it's so thin it really almost disappears which is kind of nice so this is the idea they're going to hang like that Okay, now I think we're ready to start putting them in here. And um, again, as I go, I'll figure out what makes the most sense. We don't want to go too low or not too high either. Okay, I'm going to figure out my flowers uh, now. In terms of, I think I'm going to hang some coming down. So maybe it will fit kind of inside the chandelier, kind of like that. Can you see the, the rose up there, like that. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna prep all the flowers by cutting them individually because they all come in a bundle like this. So I'm just gonna cut them apart. Oh, and I did have two casualties. <laughs> two of the, of the coffee cups, fortunately, they didn't break, but they came down. So it looks like the, the top and the bottom were not completely glued, so I had to do it again. Fortunately, nobody else has fallen, but but yeah, that's something to keep in mind. I'll make sure you put really a lot of uh, good glue in there. Okay, so um, these ones don't, that don't have a stem at all, I think they need something. So I'm going to borrow from this other one that apparently had stems that uh, or flowers that I already cut out. But I could definitely use the stem. Because oftentimes these things are the same. They fit all the same. So I'm gonna put that one in there because that way I have a better time uh, making them stay up in my, in my chandelier. I can twist them around a little bit and they'll stay in place.
Okay, well, let me show you what I got so far. Basically, I just try to keep like a little ball on the bottom, kind of sort of uh, make sure that, that it's uh, pretty well distributed, all the flowers. Okay, and after much thinking, I mean, I thought of hanging this down. I just didn't like the way they looked. So I think if I take them off the stem and I attach them to something, I think it'll look better almost floating as opposed to kind of with the stem and the leaves and all that coming down. So that's what we're gonna try. Okay, so what I did is I attached some thread uh, to the back and then I put a little dab of glue because I knew the thread alone would not really hold it. So. And I almost forgot, I had some extras of these keys that I use for, keys that I use for the favors. So I figured I would hang them in here. I only have four left, but I think they had a little extra something. Okay, now it's time to set the table. Let's this one actually is a round one. I don't always get round ones because they're hard to find, but this one is a round one. Again, for right now, I'm gonna set it up for just the two of us. And later we'll do the, the rest of the crafting setup. And for now, I'm gonna set up the little tea set on the side. I think I'm gonna try to use the doilies there for that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try to figure it out there to make sure that I have the right height, but then I'll probably move it to the side for my purposes right now. I'm just setting the table for me and my husband. So again, so those who follow me have seen this a million times. I'm uh, basically gonna do it with this candlestick on the bottom. And I'm gonna use either quake wax or Candle wax is kind of uh, similar. Candle wax is a little easier to use. It's a little softer. It's a little bit gooier. Uh, but one thing is I'm gonna get a better spatula because that thing on the bottom is just, that little plastic thing that it comes with is just too, too puny. So basically you put a little bit of this, a little dab will do you. Usually three spots. That's what I usually do. That'll keep it on the inside. And we'll glue it on. And it's pretty strong, even though it's super um, temporary. And it's pretty forgiving if you actually don't want to change it later. And I'm gonna keep Debating, debating, I like this better or this. I think this will take less space. Also, double check your alignments here. That looks right. Because for the tea party, we'll be here. Either treats or, or maybe I'll put some crafting supplies. But my usual is just to do this. Wait, karma. And uh, the napkin rings smash pretty nice. Okay, and here's my little tea table for two, which will eventually turn into my crafting table. So I ended up using those napkins with those nip, and I put a little doily because you need to dress up the plate. I didn't have anything that would work with this. There's a new little teacups that I got. There's a three tier tray with the teapot, and here's the the chandelier. All decorated with the little floating cups and flowers.
Okay, so um, the next thing I need to do is to kind of set up my crafting station. So what I decided to do is, was I, I found these cute little bags, again, at that uh, Japanese little store. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the craft supplies here. And also it's a way for them to be able to kind of take their little crafts home as well, right? So they can take their, their, the teacup or whatever they make, they can have a place to carry it. Hopefully they, they have, they'll just wear out because they'll be so proud of that creation. But anyway, so let me show you what I have here so far. I've had these pretty napkins. Basically, part of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is part of the kit that I bought. So it includes a popsicle stick, and it includes the wig, you know, where you put the, the wig through and then you basically helps you hold it in place. And it has this little glue dot, so you can basically glue that to the bottom of your teacup. Then you pour the wax and you let it dry. So pretty easy. So, but I thought, well, I don't, there's only three, and I have a bunch more of these, but, um, so I give one per person because that's really all we're gonna have time to do is just one teacup per person. And I thought it'd be pretty to kind of wrap it in this pretty napkin. So that's one thing. That's just for that for that craft. The other craft is gonna be the hats. And that one, it's, um, I'm gonna have, I still have to do that. I'll show you how that comes out. But I just have still have to set up all the different um, fabrics and trims and all kinds of little things that I have for embellishments for the hats. Um, but one of the things I'm gonna make is the base of the hat. And I'll show you that in a sec, which actually will be like a cardboard disc. And that's gonna be, you know, we're we gonna give it a little slit so it has a little shape. You'll see, I'll show it to you in a bit. But the other thing that I needed was to put a, oh, not that I need it, but you know me, I always have to do more. I wanted to do like a little name tag. And I found these free printables, which are the cutest thing. And they had a little spot for the name. So I wanna go ahead and put their name and actually, the way this works, the way this was designed, not by me, by someone very clever, is that you actually, I believe, you can actually make it into like a little, little basket like that. And then you put a little ribbon and then you can actually put a little uh, tea bag inside. So I thought those would be really cute for tying to each of the bags. So that's my next step. I basically printed them all. I made them the size that I wanted put everybody's name and now I'm going to cut them out and then assemble them and I'll probably find some kind of tea tea bag somewhere to put inside so let's see how that goes and then in order to to fold this because he has like a little it's very faint to see but it has like a little line right there we need like a little folding line and I'm not I know I'm doing it in the wrong place but it, it does work as you can see it just gives you a better a better way of folding it. You can also do it with a with a hard edge. You could also do that. Um, and now I have to. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna use hot glue. I think I might use some double sided tape to kind of get that together. So let me get some tape first. Okay. So here we are. So I got some double sided tape. Also from Daiso. Whoa! That went flying. And we're gonna put it right here. It's a lot easier to control, I feel, than using hot glue with a little mess. And for paper, you know, kind of double-sided tape is great for paper. Like a little purse, isn't that the cutest? Yeah, so that, and then I need to give you a hole so I get them together. Oh, and I need to get some tea bags. Okay, so I found a bunch of these Trader Joe's Earl Grey tea. I hope they fit in here. There you are. Yeah, it fits. I mean, I had to stuff it in there, but it works. I love this organza ribbon, which happened to have come with a little tea uh, set that I bought. I think quite a bit. I'll probably do a knot and then, yeah, I might as well take the whole thing. Nice, to give it a nice. Okay, so the idea would be to put it around here. Let's see if that works. Something like that. 
Whoops. <laughs> oh, I didn't catch that. Okay, they'll have to lay flat then. Th those little bags are fun. They kind of stay up. <laughs> Not with this now. Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't count on that. Anyway, I'll make it pretty, but you know what I mean. Okay, all my little tea bags um, have been put in and little things have been made. Now I have to make the base for the hat so that I can stuff it into my little, my little um, crafty bag, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a CD actually as a template. Uh, actually, yeah, template uh, both not only for the outside diameter, but also for this interior little hole. Oh, you'll see why in a sec. So, the next thing I need is to make a line. Anyway, you're gonna make a straight line, and then you're gonna take your scissors or your utility knife, whatever you're using, and you're gonna cut it out. But it's gonna get tricky in a sec though, because <laughs> we have to make a, this thing here plus Plus, we do have to cut that little hole out. So this is where it gets a little harder to do, but smaller scissors might be better. It doesn't have to be super pretty or perfect because it's all gonna get covered up. And usually, yeah, that's all you need for now. So when we're ready to make the hat, we are gonna take these two things and do this kind of situation. We're gonna overlap them a little bit. It creates a slight conical shape. It doesn't have to be super conical, just enough so that it sort of fits a bit more comfortable on the head. And then, um, and you can, you know, we can, we can hot glue that. We're ready for that step. And then we're gonna put batting and then we're gonna put fabric and then all our little embellishments. So that's all that's gonna go inside each of the little bags. So I'm gonna look like that. Okay, and just to show you the crafting setup, everybody's little bag with the little crafting supplies and their little tea bag is in place i got some supplies there scissors buttons glue guns of course needle um i got some thread somewhere and this is a bunch of different different odds and ends they can use for decorating the fascinator hats we're going to be making anywhere from flowers to ribbon to feathers to pearls and of course, we need glue sticks, so that's at the bottom, at the top of me. So I made a little tea -tier, three tier tray for that. These are some of the coffee cups, I mean, your tea cups that they can choose from to do their tea candle. And this is the other tea, three tier, question. this is only a two tier tray, which again is chock full of supplies that they can use to do their hats. And again, anywhere from trim to ribbon to fake flowers to more pearls thread if we need to kind of sew anything and here is the table i use a little doily to kind of uh basically delineate each of the spaces for each of the ladies i happen to have five chairs for this round table and three stools so that's perfect for me because that's all of us eight will be able to fit so here is another tray three-tier tray and again with you know pins and little roses that i made a long time ago if anybody wants to use some other hair some little teeny embellishments as well the teapot is there just for looks because it looks pretty i brought some small tables so that we can kind of hold the glue gun so they don't have to be on the table and i have a plug back there that i can plug them into and then, and then here again, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of the lighting, it's not great to see the flowers that we had done earlier for the chandelier here in the kitchen on all the little floating cup, uh, teacups with the little key and the flowers. And lastly, one thing I had not shown you guys before is this little balloon arch that I got here. And it's actually uh, something I got from Dollar um, Target, the Target in the dollar section. Um, I had bought this a long time ago and he had been there in my in my stuff and I had forgotten about it. It was it's one of those things that's worth five dollars, not quite a dollar or three, 
but this one's five dollars and you know i've never done one of those before and it was it was actually pretty easy to do pretty fun so um yeah and since um i don't have a table for my uh bar usually for a few drinks you know before because that's usually where we're going to be setting up for you know over there that's usually where i put my drinks my bar but since that's occupied right now for my crafting session i decided to take this little corner here of my kitchen and do a little bar i'm probably going to do some kind of little punch kind of situation here i'm gonna make up something i'm not sure what and you know if someone's really really hungry i could have some biscuits or maybe something else we'll see about that i do have some little appetizers that I could put in there too um, so and then I also found these at the thrift store I forget what they were but I think it was like a dollar for all these so I thought this would be fun to put on the glasses so you know to help us identifiers and I've had this set of napkins forever they're really pretty and they're really apropos but I'm um, not sure exactly how they're gonna lay for now I just have them there for now but there you go there's my little my little drinking station where my cats come in and they'll go then to the crafting session and after that we'll go into our tea party so there it is i hope you enjoy continuing with me in this journey especially now that we're so close to the finishing line i still have one more video coming with a few more finishing touches i'm working on and i'm planning also on doing a final reveal of the entire setup both in the day and night time so you can see it all lit up so don't miss out on those and see you at the next one